<laughs> what is up again, guys? And today we are going to be talking a little bit about sugar gliders again. My name is Bryce, and this is the YouTube channel. And if you're on here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and definitely go check out my Sugar Daddy and Sugar Mama hoodies for your sugar gliders. And we also are going to have some t-shirts rolling out soon, so don't forget to check out the Shopify. Today, guys, we are talking about sugar glider nutrition. So sugar gliders are omnivores, which means they eat a variety of things. They are just like me and you. They're going to eat meats, veggies, fruits, anything they can really get their hands on, and they need a really good balanced diet. So where does a good balanced diet start? Personally, um, from keeping them for a long time, I have found the TPG diet is probably one of the better diets, but it is a little bit more expensive and sometimes a little bit harder to set up because it can go bad quicker and faster if you don't refrigerate it and things like that. And it does take a little prep. Now, when you're keeping a lot of animals or maybe just a few and you want to stretch that out a little bit longer, a lot more of your stuff is going to be a kibble based diet. Now I use this, which is a giant bag of exotic nutrition. And it is simply, here, I'll put this one up. It is a kibble based diet. I'll get you a good view of it. That has fruits and freeze dried veggies in it. So it has bananas and pears and oranges and all that stuff that they can eat. I don't, actually don't think it has oranges in it, but I use that. And now I'm going to get hit on that probably by some people saying, oh, exotic nutrition stuff isn't really great for gliders. Well, let me tell you, I use it as just a base. My gliders get fed that as a base food. And then a lot of times what I do is their snacks or their treats that I give them constantly. I mean, constantly they are getting fruits and veggies and meats from me that I cook upstairs in my house, or they're, they're getting the other stuff that they need. So I use that as pretty much of a base. And there are other good examples of this, and I will leave links to as much of it as possible that I can in the description below to the stuff that I've used. And personally, if you can do that, your gliders should be fine. Now, some of these people do struggle and they try to feed them and healthy. And now I've also had gliders though, that I've tried to do the all natural feeding. And the problem with that is, is they immediately start losing weight and it could be the change of diet, but they start losing weight or they don't really retain the weight that they should. And that's either possibly they're not getting the right food. They're not getting the right protein. So that is why I said meal prepping some of their meals unless you're really dedicated to it, it can be kind of hard to balance it sometimes. So having something like the kibble based diets is great because you can feed that. And then as throughout the day goes, you can give them crickets and mealworms and fruits and veggies and things like that. And it'll kind of balance out their diet and keep them nice and healthy. Um, I would definitely be concerned about a lot of what I consider live fruits though. Um, that does seem to be an occurrence with a lot of sugar gliders is live fruits. If you give them a fresh apple, it's fine. If you cut an apple and you put it in the fridge or you let it sit out on the counter for say a few hours and then try to cut it up again and give it to them, sometimes that can actually be pretty detrimental to some of these sugar gliders. And the only reason I'm saying that is because it creates bacteria on the fruit that does not sit well inside the glider's gut. So like I said, the kibble based diets along with feeding them some stuff extra can usually be and lead to a healthier glider. I believe that's all I've got today, guys. And like I said, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. And like I said before, don't forget to check out the sugar daddy and sugar mama hoodies and Thanks again, guys. We'll see you. Bye.